Welcome back, Libra, and thank you for tuning in to your April 2022 tarot reading. This reading is going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Node, wherever you have Libra in your chart. Thank you for tuning in once again. This reading may not resonate for all of you out there. Keep in mind, take what resonates and leave the rest behind. So Libra, this is what I have for you from the Moonology. We have full moon in Capricorn showing up, saying it is the end of a tough cycle that approaches, okay? For some of you, you have Capricorn in your chart. I also have prosperity lies ahead, full moon in Taurus. So there's your Venus and Taurus energy. For some of you, you're dealing with, I feel you have Taurus as a moon sign or could have Capricorn as a moon sign. You have these placements in your chart or you could be dealing with someone that is. Hold that vision. <clears throat> all the hard work, all the suffering is about to pay off is what I'm feeling here. Because Capricorn is earthy. It's the most hardworking of the zodiac here. It rules time. It's Capricorn is ruled by Saturn. Now we have Saturn that started off yesterday on the 5th meeting up with Mars. The emotions are running high. There could be a very big argument that could be taking place here, a bursting out of energy that could be chaotic right now, okay? But don't give up. Hold your vision. Believe in the impossible is what I'm feeling here because there's infinite possibilities that does come out of this, okay? It's like blue moon, once in a blue moon of events taking place that are starting on in April, which is a celestial parade of events, okay, Libra? So on April 1st, the new moon in April aligned at the 11-11 activation here. So like I'm feeling, the energies could be very intense with the changes and the transitions that you're making with Saturn meeting on April 5th, Mars, right? This was chaotic with this emotion running very high. Now you also have influence of when i say celestial parade five planets that will be aligning the sun jupiter venus mars and saturn happening from april 16th to april 24th which will be joined by vesta okay and a comet now i'm doing research on this like i'm spilling here i am not an astrologer yet but i'm doing my homework here now, Comets and Vesta, this represents the prophets coming in to help us, right? Our ancestors coming to help us here is what I'm feeling. Now, Libra, I wanted to let you know because you're ruled by Venus. Venus in Taurus, she shines the brightest. So keep shining brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter. And like the fires of Mars, they come in to purify with fire. There's a purification that's, un that's under taking right now which fire pressure creates diamonds so there's a sense of ask for signs ask for guidance okay and it's like fighting the flow will only make the journey harder okay surrender and allow you allow joy to enter in and let the joy carry you let your desires and needs be met, right? This is how your desires will be met. Taurus can be an energy here of conserving, right? Security, your comfort zone, um, holding on tightly here. Holding back creates resistance. So there's resistance here is what I feel. There's a sense of you could be feeling stuck or trapped, right? And there are changes, but like I'm feeling, changing like the way that your desires are met now embrace the detours doors that are closing now right ending there's an ending of a very difficult cycle here could be 10 years could be 30 years for some of you with capricorn energy saturn rules um 32 years up to so there's a sense of this ending of closing the doors here is a process be ready to embrace and trust the process that a new door is opening. A new door that leads to prosperity, abundance, manifestation. But there's a process. 
that it takes to open up a new door. So it's like adjust, take one step and adjust again. Take another step, drink water, adjust. Get in the flow of doing everything from a place of happiness, peace, joy, what brings you to alignment with the energy and the frequency because everything is energy and frequency and vibration when you are in tune it when you are when you tune into a radio frequency say to like a hip hop station then you will get a hip hop you know music when you tune your radio to fear programming you will get fair programmed. Similarity, your mind is a radio that is tuned in by what you focus on. Energy flows into you. You are energy. You are mental. You're the receiver. So switch your antenna, Libra, to positive radio frequency during these super duper changes that are here in April, okay? Now, you could be getting a little bit of ascension symptoms. I'm feeling vertigo while I'm doing your reading. I'm feeling you could be dizzy. You could be seeing blurred vision. I started to feel this way, Libra, when I did your reading. So these could be seek doctor's advice. Seek at all attention. I am not a doctor. But I am feeling a huge headache, a huge awakening, a third eye opening. I'm feeling brighter and brighter. This is your third eye awakening that's coming in. So let's see what we have for romance oracles for my Libra collective. I pre-shuffled these decks. We're going to shuffle with the tarot to see what's coming out for you, Libra. Yeah, I feel that you are very gifted, very powerful, very clever, okay? Hold this vision that you have. Express your love, Libra. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Yeah, this could be you getting ready here to open up how you feel, to embrace a situation, to bring in open, honest communication, and let your friends help you, Libra. Ask for help from others and take the support that others are giving you. There's a time for giving and receiving. And I feel it's time to express your emotions, how you're feeling. So it feels like there's romance in the air, okay? It feels like you might need help, guidance from those close to you because this could be the one, Libra. You've already, rom you've already met this romantic partner that you seek, right? But we have codependency on the bottom. We're going to talk about this, okay? So in romance and relationships, you know this person. You already know who you're dealing with, right? There's love here. This could be the one. And I feel this could be making intense anxieties right now because you're feeling like there's a time to close a door to a codependency, right? Closing the door to addictions, closing the door to anything that's affecting your romantic life right now because this could be toxic beliefs, thoughts, this could be a feeling of feeling trapped, feeling tied down, right? A sense of codependency, again, once again, is there could be somebody here that's keeping you stuck. There could be somebody here who's holding on to you very tightly, refusing to let you go, right? Because it feels like you're moving forward. You're trying to move forward, but this person got you stuck in a situation where you don't you don't want to hurt this person i feel you don't want to break this person's heart right but you do want to move forward you're getting ready here i feel to engage with somebody here that you feel is the one so i feel you were in a codependency with somebody here that was very toxic okay so i felt that you're ending a connection here where you felt restricted where there were obstacles where there was no discipline, okay? Very much oppression here is what I feel. And it feels like you're moving away from that here, where the end of a very tough cycle is here. This could be in love overall or how you are in your and how you are in relationships. But I'm feeling here there could be someone very mad at you. She looks very mad, okay? Because you're choosing peace over drama, right?
it feels like you're choosing peace over drama and you're getting ready here to walk away. And it feels like there's distance over disrespect, right? You're trying to do goodbye to yesterday, right? And your intentions are running high because you want to move towards what brings you in. Like prosperity lies ahead here. So Venus rules relationships, okay? So it feels like you're fine-tuning where you're going now. You're making future plans, I feel. And you're ready to make advancements and understand the potential gifts that Venus has here for you. These are gifts. This is like a reality check, right? A personal transformation that you're overgoing right now is what I feel. Now, Venus rules the skies in April, okay? She'll be at her brightest point, her brightest. So it's like a new start is here. Something here that I feel you're creating yourself in April could be a new style. How you carry yourself. Venus is all about redoing, refining. So you could be redoing your outer appearances. Beauty, right? Investing in, in yourself. And this is how you give and receive love, right? So this is your style, what you value most. And what delights you? What brings in delight, you know, to you, Libra, is what I'm feeling. Let your friends help you. So you could be getting guidance on some fresh tips here. Uh, your hair, doing your hair, coloring your hair, cutting your hair. And I felt this is a whole new you that's emerging. Okay, so I'm going to leave this here. And then we're going to get some tarot out for you, Libra. I'm going through this reading and I'm still feeling a lot of vertigo. You could be feeling this way. This doesn't usually happen to me. So let's see what's happening because I feel a huge awakening coming in. I call upon the Holy Spirit. I call upon the divine light. I call upon the most high. For crystal clear messages for Libra Collective for April 2022. Now we do have Jupiter will be visible by mid-April. Judgment. Things will be very clear. Judgment flew out. So I'm going to hold on to that right now. You're making a judgment. I said awakening. You're getting major awakening symptoms right now. Okay, your ears could be ringing. You could be going through vertigo, headaches, pressure. Crown chakra activation here, a rebirth, a renewal. This is Libra, okay, that you're experiencing. This is a start over. This is something here where I feel you're, you ha you're hearing the horns blowing, that there's a higher calling here, okay? There could be somebody here returning from your past that you already know. Somebody that you thought was over and done with. Somebody could be coming back around. Now, this could be a family. It doesn't necessarily have to be love. But you put it where it needs to go. I feel you're making a judgment call. Or you're feeling like you were judged. Or someone's judging you. Let's see. Libra, April 2022. 20, this is definitely a Pluto. Now we have Pluto going retrograde at the end of April. I'm going to stop right there. Okay. I feel this could be the decision that you're making where it's going to change everything right now. And this is a judgment call, meaning this is a very big cycle that you got. Pluto conjunction Capricorn. Something here could have happened in 2020, okay? This is coming back around because it's the, the celestial parade that's happening lined up like this in 2020, okay? So it feels like this judgment here that you're making is you're taking the fog, the, the glasses off, the rose-colored glasses and seeing clear, clear as day, illumination, right? Four of swords, there you go, Libra, in your element, air, okay? Four of Swords is taking that time now out to recuperate, to refine, like I was feeling overall. Take a rest, breathe, drink water. Four of Swords is meditation. Uh, it's Four of Swords is also a feeling here of 
recuperating. So you could be trying to recuperate. You could be trying to rest. Rest is needed. It's like just breathe. Just breathe. Replenish. Take time out to recharge. Take it easy on yourself. That was what I heard in April. Take it easy. Drink like I feel. You're being downloaded and upgraded with downloads that are coming in from the spiritual realms and you are being upgraded at a cellular level. Yes, you are. You're getting ready to take action, King of Wands. You could have Aries, Leo, Sag in your chart here or be dealing with somebody here, but I feel right now you're enthusiastic and you're ready for love, Libra, Knight of Cups. Now, you don't have to be, this is all energy. I have, whether you're a male or female, and yes, there is chaos. There is big chaos going on. Like I feel, five of swords, seven of wands here, okay? This is, there's a fight, right? You're breaking free, king of wands. You're getting ready to take action. Now, in this fight, you're trying, like I feel, there's somebody here that wants to win at all costs, okay? In this fight or this betrayal that took place here, I feel there is somebody here that's out for regret out for revenge okay it's very competitive right now especially with the seven of wands it's time for you to draw the line in the sand it's time for you to close the door to the past okay because these people are beneath you now you're definitely elevating right now so there's a spiritual battle that's taking place here this is the honorable warrior like i felt mars energy okay fire and the fires that create the diamonds out of you, Libra, here. Because there's somebody here that knows you're getting ready to shine like a diamond. Okay, Knight of Cups. A love offer. Okay, or you're making this, okay, like I feel. And there's a, there's a battle between two sides here. Very combative, very revengeful. Somebody here, Seven of Wands. Yeah, Page of Wands. Another fire sign you could be dealing with. Aries, Leo, Sag. You might have that in your chart or be dealing with somebody who is. I feel that you're getting ready for to move here, right? Making a movement on love. Because there's somebody coming in here that's melting your heart, right? Very charming energy. I feel there's flattery. You're flattered by this person here. There's somebody here, like I feel the way that you're coming in right now. This is you. Very attractive right now, Libra. Very attractive. Uh, you're in your element of inspiration okay there's a new beginning that's here is what i feel that has potential okay so it feels like you're getting ready to take the lead boots on the ground libra right getting ready to take the lead here and fight for what you want and fighting for what you see as value right because this is what you value that's going to have to go first and foremost here the seven of wands is detaching right and moving away from whatever this is to take charge. And somebody here doesn't want you to take that charge. Somebody here doesn't want you to take the lead. Somebody here is trying to pull you back, right? Codependency, we saw. Right? Here it is, codependency. Someone's very addicted to you, okay? There is a sense here of control, all right? It's trying to control your next move, right? But you don't, there's no one that can control you. You're, you're meant to take this new lead here, this new direction. Seven of Wands here, okay? So you could feel very much defending your territory right now. What happened in the immediate past for Libra? In the past here, Two of Cups, you did make a... There was a change here. You went for it. So in the past here, I feel that you definitely took a leap here of faith. There was a leap and bound here towards a soulmate. Somebody here that I feel you're connecting to could have water in their chart. Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Okay? Something suddenly happened here, Libra, in the past. I feel you were in a soul connection here. Could be Aries and Uranus. You moved away from it. As fast as it started, that's as quick as you moved on and you moved forward right so in the past here you moved for you moved past a partnership here there was a two of cups there was somebody here 
that was in love with you that you're in love with, but you moved forward, you moved away. For some of you, it was regretful, but necessary is what I'm feeling here, okay? And it feels like now you're not letting nothing stop you, right? You're going full forward ahead because you're on this movement. You're on the move, right? You're on the move. You're, fi you're fighting the flow with the fire of swords because there is a battle. You're getting ready here, I feel, to defend yourself and not let anyone stop you. Like I feel she's getting ready to walk. She's already walking. And somebody's like, come back, come back, right? I want to, like, you know, I want to reconcile. But I feel that whatever it is, you're, you got this feeling also here with this king of wands is, is somebody who, who can be non-committal, right? There's a sense of you want to start maybe a new relationship off in love, but you don't want to just jump in anymore. I feel you did that in the past and you could be regretting it, right? Like I said, you could be regretting that you did that in the past taking your time, right? Going with the flow instead of making moves on the spur of the moment, right? That you might regret. And it's saying right now that's the sense of chaotic is here. There's a sense of independence, Libra, that I'm getting that you're comfortable with. You're yearning for this, this feeling here of being able to be not a bachelor, but keeping things casual right now in April, is which is a good idea for you, is what I feel. And it's like, you don't want to do anything you regret anymore because there was a lot of regrets here. Yeah, keeping it definitely. Six of Wands. A healthy ego and pride, right? Six of Wands could be pride and ego. You could be dealing with an Aries Leo Sag here. There's somebody here that, that wants victory, right? Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. There's, your, there's prosperity that lies ahead for you. You will have victory, Libra. You will have reward. This is something here that I feel with this Ace of Coins is making an offer. Something here that has long-term financial um, ab abundance to it, right? With Taurus and Venus, Earthy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. A solid gain in life. And I feel whatever it is, is victorious with the Six of Wands. Six of Wands is a feeling here of self-confidence because it says it in the first card. Your self-confidence is going to be everything here. This is being honoring yourself here because you are a warrior, right, of the most high. So it's like you do not need to fight this battle. All you need to do is change the frequency because this is what's lying here for you. It's waiting for you. A new chapter, a new beginning, okay? For some of you Libras, this could be like internet, global. This could be six of wands, um, entrepreneurship, you're somebody who's online, social media. I feel that you provide help to others here. I feel that you're somebody who's ready to expand and grow. Now, Jupiter in Neptune is going to be on the 12th, a magical day when Jupiter conjuncts Neptune, okay? This is in a place here, like I feel, wow. Wow, there's the Three of Swords, and I'm just talking about this day. There's somebody here, like I feel, you were heartbroken in a situation, three of swords, mentally, physically drained. And it feels like you do not like mess with Libra. Libra, when you're at this point, there's only one way your self-confidence to get you back up and going, right? Because you're very, you got this energy of fire in your blood right now, okay? It's like the tiger lady, right? The tiger man or the tiger lady right now. And confidence to take this leap. Because you were down is what I feel, heartbroken, drained, a feeling here of under pressure, right? Under pressure. And that's why the fire comes in, because now you'll be shining, shining bright, shining, shining more. And the diamond is what's coming here. You're a diamond in the rough, right? There's an ability, a gift that you have here, okay, that you're going to see that brings in a level of... <laughs> abundance venus there you go libra there is a mother figure for some of you okay venus and libra here taurus could be significant we have taurus here venus is in fertility okay so there's a sense of very fertile at this time pregnancy could be happening uh with venus and taurus like i said rules beauty rules success abundance here this is being at the right place at the right time, okay? 
And there you go. A solid offer. I feel this is all about divine timing here. Venus rules the skies. You'll be the brightest. So you will be shining bright like a diamond with Venus coming in, Libra. Look at this. Where all the rewards and the public recognition is. This is an energy here of being in the spotlight, right? Seen as somebody here who's very beautiful, very attractive. There's a sense of glamorous, charming, graceful, gorgeous. Having that magnetic appeal to attraction here. Now, I feel that for some of you here, there is a mother figure, right? A feminine divine. So with Venus being the brightest in the skies, whether you're a man or a woman, right? There's a sense of being in touch with your feminine, right? That's where the balance is. There's, this is joy. This is, this is a healthy ego above like pride and ego because I, I heard that first. It's like surrender, okay, your pride because like I felt, whatever you're going for, this is being in tune with what brings you in joy, what brings in love. Venus is all about... Like I felt a good match for you, right? Somebody here, Knight of Wands, I felt was playing around. There was a sense of somebody here playing with somebody here. And that Venus and Taurus will not tolerate that. Venus will not, she does not chase people, right? She's not chasing he or she. So you don't chase love. And it feels like there was somebody here that was playing around. Could have been in the past here. The King of Wands did have other people that were here there was a fight for somebody right so somebody here was flirting somebody here made an impulsive decision in the past here okay is what i feel that they regret they regret something that they did here so let's see what could be the challenge or the obstacle there it is seven of swords trickery is the challenge that's here Air, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius doesn't have to be, but Seven of Swords is something that's sneaky that's going on. And there are, this brings challenge. Yeah, Knight of Swords. Very drama, a lot of chaotic drama, okay? Somebody here, like I feel had a disregard for the consequences. They had scattered thoughts, five of wands. Internal conflict is here. Scattered thoughts. Someone didn't understand what the consequences bring in of the past behavior, and they bring in a lot of internal conflict at the run of this reading here. There's a sense of you're trying to avoid this conflict right now. I felt that you need to increase more on your focus on your goals. Because setting a very big goal is right, what's important right now is what I feel. I feel all around you, you got five of swords, five of wands. There is a battle, Libra. There is. I feel overall here, nine of coins. is like there could be like over investing right now in something here that's not working any longer. Nine of coins, okay. Nine of pentacles is the young empress energy. It's also a single man or a single woman I'm feeling. I feel like you're, you're, you could be on the outs, right? You're in between. You could be on a breakup with, with, with a partner, with somebody here, Libra. But it feels like whatever's going on right now, this is that conflict I was talking about. So it's like, let's see. What is the advice? What is the advice for Libra for April? It's like, I feel you got this attitude of, you know what? You could watch me or you could block me. But there's one thing you cannot do is stop you. You're unstoppable. Was what I feel. Yeah. Advice. The advice from the Holy Spirit is to adjust, adjust, adjust. Be very focused. Be very detailed. Um, this is coming into alignment. I feel this is the magical trinity, the three of pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Teamwork is dream work, okay? It's building something that you're building right now, and don't give up. Believe in the impossible. Yeah, self-mastery. Eight of pentacles. 
whatever this is, is that Ace of Coins is putting the work into a partnership or putting the work into something that you're building here. Something that you're collaborating with others. This is taking that initial step to bring in wish fulfillment. This is dream work is teamwork energy. Because whatever you're working on, focused and detailed, right? Gain balance, two of pentacles. This is about your money, money management. There it is, four of pentacles, like I was feeling. A sense of somebody here could be holding you back because of money. Money could be involved with your person that you were dealing with or waiting on money or or conservat conserving uh, money, saving for something here. It feels like you're trying to prioritize in April where you can balance your finances. It's all about money management, saving, like saving for the opportunity. Once you prioritize this, like I'm feeling, because you're prioritizing, you're holding that vision, right? Something you've been working on that has to do with money, right? Wealth, prosperity. And it feels like there's been an imbalance going on here. There's a sense of disorganized and april is the month to not april is the month to focus your energy on your money right focus on what you're invested in what you value is the energy of april okay especially with this energy you could have like i feel a lot of capricorn here i'm saying what is the possible outcome yeah nine of coins ace of swords that's the truth. This is your new beginning that brings in victory. So this is illumination, something you can see clearly, right? Having mental clarity. When I feel Mercury will be in Gemini, right, on the 29th, there is a sense of, I'm feeling very much um, Mercury and Aries you could have, right? And with Saturn coming in on the 7th to 8th here, there's a sense of it's all or nothing, right? All or nothing. There's a sense of karmic completions with the, with Capricorn with the end of a tough cycle, okay? And this is the time for it. It's time, I feel, for you to take a big leap in the direction and focus financially what you're invested in. What are you on initial fulfillment of? What brings you in happiness? And this nine of coins is somebody who's single. There's somebody here. You could have Scorpio here, also death card. There's an ending, like I said, one door must close for the next door to open. Yeah. So it feels like there's somebody here that initially brings you in fulfillment, happiness, ten of cups. Somebody here that I feel, Libra, is the truth coming in here to talk to you, okay? Ten of cups, water, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Coming into alignment with what really brings you in happiness. Now, for some of you, I feel this is the ultimate life, Ten of Cups, right? And the Ace of Swords, Nine of Coins. I feel somebody's coming in to communicate with you. Somebody's opening up, expressing their love, right, to this connection. And this is someone from your past, I feel, okay? For some of you, it's your partner, right, King of Coins. For some of you, it's somebody here that you had a partnership with. A husband usually is King of Coins. Somebody you were committed to could be a uh, strong earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Doesn't have to be. But I do see a king of coins to a nine of coins, okay? This is my single lady card, and this is somebody who's in a commitment, all right? And it feels like definitely cutting something out here. Ace of swords, clearing something. Clarity coming in, mental clarity. Being aware that there's a new idea with this ace of Ace of Swords, Ace of Pentacles for you in April is bringing in a new idea, a new awareness that you have here. Something that you're seeing illuminated, right? The light is shining on this area of your life now. And I feel there's something here that you're getting ready here. Somebody who's very invested in their self, Nine of Coins, right? Somebody here that you look at, like I feel that you admire. You admire somebody here is what I feel. And the king of coins is here. So I feel you're getting ready here to make a commitment, okay, with somebody that you admire, okay, somebody here that's very charming, somebody here that you desire, because the king of wands is all about what you desire. You're getting ready to assert yourself. There's attraction, there's chemistry here. 
I feel that your self-confidence is coming in here to make a decision because you do have the six of wands. There's going to be victory here in a connection that has to do with love, money, because Venus rules this. So there's infinite possibilities that you're coming into. This is also expansion. There's a reward, okay, that Venus is bringing in that's expansion, growth, okay, a sense of a higher expression of yourself. At going through this replenishment, okay, something that you're worthy to receive, right? Because you're looking at what you value here, okay? You're looking from it at a point where you could see clearly now, okay? So it, it's feeling like you're getting ready to make something concrete. It feels like a concrete decision, big changes, turning a corner of events. And it has to do with somebody here that values you, right? Hierophant, Venus and Taurus, Six of Cups, King of Coins. So I feel that you're getting ready here to make a decision for the long haul, a long-term commitment, something that you value that has to do with family, children, um, the decision of how you believe in your relationships should be here with the Hierophant, okay? For some of you, this is having help, spiritual guidance, okay? Asking for assistance here. And the Six of Cups is here. So there's a sense of nostalgia here. There's a sense of rekindling a connection with the Six of Cups. There's also a feeling here of memories that you have with somebody. There's somebody here that you could have been, that you were raised with, right? Childhood memories here. Okay. So let's see. We're going to go ahead and leave that there. And Libra, I will get back to you by the middle of April. Thank you for all of your patience and your understanding. I'm going to go ahead and leave the reading there. And I hope that all is well. Take it slow in April with the Ascension symptoms. Definitely. I am sending you all tons of love. Thank you so much.